All right, guys, quick guide on how to build massive shoulders. Realistically, having round, bolder shoulder looking size, fucking massive delts is really, really useful for your physique because it builds out your frame. It creates a perception that you've been training for 10 to 15 years and gives this impression that you are a lot more muscular than you actually are. But the truth is you've probably just mastered the art of growing your delts. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Having large delts fill out your frame and your overall physique. If your shoulders are rounder and broader, it gives that triangle look, that broader look to you, which suggests your physique is exactly where it needs to be. And that's the way you want to treat it. You want to look at the little weak points of your physique and see what can you start to build to create your new proportion. And most of the time that is shoulders. So I'm going to show you why shoulders is a little bit misunderstood and the best way to actually grow them. So why it's misunderstood, what people do wrong is they overtrain the front delts. So put it simply, you've got three main heads in your shoulder, the front side and the rear. That's it. So a lot of people overtrain their front delts because they take shoulder press very seriously. They throw in a lot of pressing exercises, which are great. They hit all heads, but they hit primarily the front delt. The front delt gets targeted a lot when you train chest. Whenever you're doing any press movement, say it's incline press, whether it's bench press, it's very heavy on the front delt. So by training two or three exercises on shoulder press, especially if you're doing a push day where you're doing two of these, you're potentially one overtraining, but you're just doing extra work that doesn't need to be done. The reason your shoulder is not where you want it to be is because you're not training the harder parts. And those are the side and the rear delts. So that's your lateral raises. That's your rear delt flies, your reverse flies. That's what needs the full attention. So if you're going to really build up your shoulders, stop worrying so much about the front delts and put all your attention onto the side and rear delts. So when you're fresh, when you're just starting your session, start with those. Your front delts are pretty strong. You're always going to feel them fatigued after a chest session. When you go like this in the morning after a chest session, it's always here that you feel that's your front delt. So you don't need to be consistently training that because you're probably overtraining it in general. So do your overhead press by all means, but don't take the piss and start doing variations of the overhead press and doing front raise on top of that. Focus on your lateral raises and your rear delt raises. So <clears throat> for side delts, that's going to cover this section here. And you just want two exercises, a lateral raise on the dumbbell, or ideally the machine. The machine would be a lot better just because there's a constant tension applying. You can get dumbbells right if you do them properly. You just want to make sure, but you're constantly reviewing what you're doing and keeping tension. So what you want to do there is just make sure you're not going all the way up because if you go too far up, you activate your traps, which you don't want to do. And then you want to make sure you're not going all the way down. So you keep the tension because if you bring them all the way down, then there's no more activation of the muscle. You're just letting gravity do the work. So that's why we just stop a little bit before the end and then pretty much do that. Um, with machine, it's a lot easier, but always make sure not to go too high because you will activate your traps, which we do want to target, but not with a lateral raise. There's other exercises for that. Um, after that, we can go into a cable lateral raise. These are the two best ones you can do. I always say this. It's not about how many exercises you do. It's about finding the ones that work and then abusing them, fucking using them and taking every little last piece of advantage out of it until you get to where you want to be. So lateral raises with a cable. Um, there's plenty of attachments you can use. I would highly recommend investing in a pair of cuffs. You'll see girls using this when they do the little ankle thing to build their ass. I don't know if you've seen that. However, you get your hand in one of those and then you basically just raise without having to hold an attachment. If you hold an attachment, what will happen is you will shift all the, all the force onto your forearm and your triceps. And basically you won't be able to go to complete failure because your shoulders and triceps, your shoulders and triceps, your tricep and forearm will give out at a certain point before your actual side delt does. So if you want to take your training seriously and you want to instill a little bit of progression, use the cuffs. So, with a cable, you can get a lot more tension. So what I'd recommend is putting the attachment down to the bottom, get your right one, get your left one, and do a little cross lateral raise like that. Perform that to failure. Like I'm talking, when I say failure, you want to take it until you can't do another one. But then when you can't do another one, take five seconds and then wait again and do it again. And then drop set. Keep progressing. So you've got a tracking system in place where you know what you did last week, but 
just because you can't do any more in that way doesn't mean you can't do more the, on a lower weight. What I'm trying to say is in the last set of every exercise, especially when it comes to smaller muscles like your side delts, you need to be drop setting this. You'll find that you'll be able to get more reps on a lower weight and you'll keep doing this until you genuinely can't do another one. You have to do that every single session, otherwise you won't grow. It's that simple. You can't really do, just treat this as a any other muscle group. It's a much smaller one, so it needs a bit of a mixture. It needs some heavy reps, it needs some partial reps, but it also needs some really nice executed lightweight ones. So just keep mixing it up. But moral of the story, if you want to grow your side delts, push them fucking hard. Same goes with rear delts. Only difference is I would include side delts on a push day. So I'd even with my shoulders and triceps. Rear delts, I would do on my back day, which I'm actually going to do now. What I would do is, depending on your physique, I would put rear delts at the start of every back day. A lot of guys leave it to the end. And as a result, they don't get the, the love they need. They don't look quite good on your physique because you always do them at the end of your session where you're mentally and physically fatigued, so you can't really put a lot of stress in them. It seems to reflect on a lot of people's physique because it your rear delts don't just look pronounced on your shoulder, they look pronounced on your back. So if you want to build your back as well, make sure you're building your rear delts. What I'd say is start with them and start with these two exercises here. So really, really simple. You've got your chest fly pec deck, just turn it around and go into the reverse one. After that, it's a case of doing three sets again to complete failure and drop setting. You can mix in rear delt rows if you want with a dumbbell or an actual rowing machine. Anything that's using a kind of grip like this, a neutral grip and is coming above the shoulder is always going to target that rear delt. So be trying to incorporate exercises like that. And then again, reverse cable fly is very, very similar. You're grabbing one cable there, you grab another and you're going like that. You can use the cuffs again because eventually if you hold that little attachment, not only will your hand slip, it will also shift a lot of attention to your forearm and to your triceps, which means they will give out before your rear delts do. So if you want to take your training to a next level, use those cuffs. It's a £10 investment on Amazon and it will grow your shoulders bigger, which will make you look better as we talked about. Drop set the fuck out of these. Push the limits. Stop training. Stop. You're not done when you say you're done. Keep going. Just like keep putting that intensity in and that's what's going to help you grow. Now, I'm going to show you my killer delts workout, something that I would recommend to anyone who just wants to train shoulders on themselves. Like I said, I do the rear delts on a different day, but it's just going to start with this structure here. One front delt main head workout, Smith machine press or a plated machine press. I don't recommend a dumbbell one because I think we can all say as gym bros, anyone who's done it has injured themselves because what they do is they come down too low and then the rotator cuff goes in and you can't bench press or chest press or whatever and it's just shit. It's not fun. So Smith machine, that will keep you locks in. Played machine press, it's really stable. It means you can go to failure. You can drop set without injuring yourself. Three sets, 10, 12, 10, 8. Then we go on to our side delts here. So we're doing lateral raises on the dumbbell, lateral raises on the cable. This is where we want most of our attention to be. That's what's going to build that pronounced look on the side of the shoulder then we're going to be focusing on our rear delts here reverse cable fly reverse pec deck so again following this structure what i would say if you have a look here i know i'm blocking it a little bit sorry um last set equals failure and drop set so what i potentially what i tend to do is use these as kind of warm-up sets up I mean, this isn't maximal intensity my maximal intensity is going for this last set so these are just targets the last set is to complete failure. This is when we annihilate, we go for fucking war, drop set, push past the limits. And this is what we're aiming for. Could be a case of maybe you get fucking 20 here, but the goal is do a weight where you know you're going to fail around 10 or a weight we can fail around 8, 12, 10. You get the idea. And then once you've got that and you start to hit that rep range, keep increasing it every single week. Keep doing that. If you find that you're struggling to progress on a certain lift, maybe it's a lateral raise dumbbell because the weights increase in a weird way, you can increase the drop set. It comes down to your tracking systems. If you don't write this down, you'll never remember and then you'll never grow. It's all very numerical, simple. That's why it's so important to track this and really just focus on sometimes increasing the drop set. That's a progression in itself. As long as you lift heavier in one way or the other, that's what matters. And that's how you break plateaus when it comes to lateral raises. I think a lot of people get to like 15 kg with perfect form and they never break past it because they're scared of lifting heavier. But the truth is you just need to keep pushing the limits, keep getting stronger. And that's all it is. If you can do that, 
maybe once, twice a week. It depends what your split is like. I personally like to train once a week, shoulders and triceps. It's a nice half an hour workout, triceps after. It does a job for me. I will do these three exercises, machine press, lateral raises, lateral raises, shoulders and tries. These will be on my back day. So you, you could include that on a pull day, depends on your workout split. And I will also include dumbbell shrugs on my shoulders and triceps day. Shrugs are an underrated one. Everyone doesn't include them. They're like, oh, I don't want big traps. And I was like, well, you're fucking wrong. Like big traps also make you look massive. Like if you, I don't know, look at Conor McGregor, where everyone says, oh, he's on steroids. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Good for him. Point is, he has massive fucking traps. And you can do that by training shrugs. And it's really, really easy. Just pick up two dumbbells, really, really heavy. Get some straps on so your, your hands don't slip. And then just shrug. Do that. You will start to get a more pronounced traps. And I think people get a misconception when it comes to traps they're not just here you know they go all the way down your back i can't really show you but they go all the way down into your mid back so bigger traps means bigger back it's very very fucking important so stop neglecting exercises follow these six exercises here and i guarantee you'll get very very far you will grow bigger shoulders if you grow bigger shoulders you look better you have a gladiator look people think oh shit this guy's been training for 10 to 15 years but maybe since you watch this video in one year you could have ridiculously large shoulders again a lot of people do it wrong a lot of people just train five exercises on the smith machine doing fucking machine press dumbbell press arnold press all of this it's not very necessary focus on the smaller muscle groups here the side delt the rear delt the traps and you'll reach your goals that's all you got to do so yeah quick video on how to grow shoulders hope that was useful i'm going to do a little series on this i'm going to get chest well i've done chest shoulders I'm not best qualified to do legs. I could do calves. I've got decent calves. I'm not going to talk about quads and hammies. But biceps, triceps, we'll go into all of that every single day. I'm keeping them coming. So, yeah, cheers for today, and I will see you on the next one. So.